With the increasing cost of the DTOP and the eventual extinction, we as hobbyists and model car collectors need to find alternative methods for being able to display our hobby. In comes the IKEA Blaliden. Blaliden. Could this be the better option or does it actually fall short when compared to that of the DTOP? Let's find out together starting right now. We won't go through the entire unboxing, but we're gonna have even more fun with this display by adding some lights and making it super clean. And I'll be sure to put everything down in the comment section below. So check it out there if you wanna know exactly what I use. As you can see, I went with the white version because to me, white just looks a little bit cleaner when displayed right. So when it comes to putting it actually together, pretty much you just set up the sides, put the base on, put the top on. However, I would suggest a power tool when it comes to the Philips head screwdriver areas put your supports for making sure that the back glass stays in place then you're going to place the little anchors for the shelving options but make sure to adjust this exactly where you want it so that you don't have to change it later set up your front door and then the little magnet pieces so that your door shuts tight now I will say that the magnets were a little bit weak and there is a magnet that I suggest you upgrade to which I'll show you at towards the end of the video. Now once it's actually put together the Blalidin actually does have some nice structural support. What I mean by this is that the D-Top doesn't have supports on all four sides much like this one so it's kind of flimsy in that way. This one has full support all the way around but the only disadvantage with this is that it can obstruct some of the viewing angle when you look at it from certain areas. Let's move on to the fun stuff. Let's begin by adding some lighting. Now this is actually perfect because you can get a perfect four pack of these LED lights. Some people may prefer strips but I went with LED lighting that looks like this. You're going to need one for every shelf and then one for the very top. This also came included with double sided tape so it's super easy to set up and mock up. Note that for the very top piece when it comes to lighting be sure to make sure you know exactly where the double sided tape is going to land so that you can trim this up before you attach it to the light itself. Now one important note make sure that all the wiring comes out through the left now that you've got all the lighting set up, very important, make sure that all the lights work. So plug it in, turn it on, and be sure that every single one is working properly before you move on to the next step. Now this step is going to be cable management and just cleaning up all this wiring. You're gonna to wanna to make this super clean. So I was able to pick up some cable management concealers. These are actually white strips where you can put the wire inside. The perfect thing about this Blaliden is that you can actually have this channel double-sided tape to the corner where you can't see See it. As I mentioned earlier, make sure you set the height of these shelves exactly where you want it because the one place you're going to have it is where you're going to cut the concealers and then put them in their spot. So it's perfect to be able to hide all this wiring. For the rest of the wires at the very bottom, I just put it underneath the case actually and everything kind of heads towards the back so nothing's coming out through the sides or the front. By now, it should be looking super clean and super professional, but we don't need to stop there. I've got another bonus thing that you can do. So in order to dust proof this case what I actually did is got little felt strips that have a sticky backing so that you can run this all along the sides of the door and the top and bottom so that you've got a completely concealed case now and it may only prevent like 80 to 90 percent of the dirt because I'm sure it's, it's going to find some way in however this is just an added little bonus to be able to try and eliminate as much dust from going into your case as possible the ones I got were about a half inches wide uh, the other thing about this Blaliden was the magnets to where the door closed Closes. I actually had some upgraded magnets that I was gonna use. These magnets, I just had them for something else that I was gonna use them for, but it actually worked out perfect. Now, my magnets were a little bit bigger. They were about an inch and a quarter too big, in my opinion. You can probably find some that are close to like a half inch where the magnet doesn't show, but these magnets were super great to be able to give your door a nice tight seal when it comes to closing it. And now it's time to really bring this thing to life by putting some of our most favorite model cars in here. Now, some of the disadvantage I would say right off the bat is that you can't put a model car with a base on it. You actually have to take it off the base and then you can put the model car inside. This actually works really great with model cars that have extra accessories like engines and engine lift, or maybe you've got like different scales of that same model car. Perfect way to display all that on one shelf. 43 scale model cars fit pretty good, uh, but again, the tight space when compared to the DTOF causes you to have to put them at a little bit of an angle here and there. And lastly, the 64 scale, I do have those two tier shelves that I was trying to put in here, but again, it's just too tight of space, but I actually used one of my older two tier options for stacking the model cars, and that actually fit really perfect. So I'll be sure to put links down for that one, just in case you guys forgot about that. The mini GT ones, 
look really nice in there. You don't have to open them. They look real nice, especially with the lighting. And then lastly, I also put in some dioramas. The dioramas were a perfect fit, especially if you've got some 64 scale mini creek ones. Even though you can't put the extra extension of the road, it looks really nice when you just put the main building in there. So if you're a 64 collector, this would be a great shot to just set up some really nice dioramas. Overall, the lighting really gives it a professional display and just really brings to life all the model cars that you've got. So as mentioned, the design of the Blalidin is a lot sturdier than the DTOF, but most importantly, price point, $80 as compared to the DTOF that have skyrocketed in value. It used to be almost half the price of this, but it's at a whopping 120. And as mentioned, all those side pillars do obstruct view. Overall, I think it's gonna be okay and something that I personally can live with. Now, some of the negative things of the Blalidin versus the DTOF is gonna be the surface area on how much you can put on there. Definitely not as big as a DTOF for sure, but you can certainly put some of your favorite ones in there. You don't have to put everything you've got. The door closure, was a bit of a letdown because the magnets were not as strong but as mentioned i did find a fix to that to be able to give it a nice close tight shut and it seems like the reviews on the website are about 50 50. you've got one guy saying that the shelf is not sturdy but then you got a positive review saying that it is sturdy so Take it all with a grain of salt and I would suggest you guys experience this for yourself and review this video and see if it's something that you might be interested in. Well, there you have it. That's the video. I hope it was helpful for you. Let me know down in the comment section below what you thought. I've got some other cool videos in the next slide that you can check out. I'll see you in those videos or my next video. Doesn't matter what comes, fresh goes better in life. Take it